So recently, me and my commentary YouTuber friend King of Nothing had a discussion about the morality of streaming on Kick and Pokimane's take on it, with him thinking it's immoral and me thinking it's not that big of a deal. Let me know who you think has the right take in the comment section below. Yo, Rice Gum has been streaming recently. Yeah, he has been. He did a uh, he got a Rumble deal, right? I guess better than Kick. I guess, yeah, it's interesting seeing Rumble and Kick kind of fight for streamers. The relevance for Kick, uh, I felt like was more than Rumble, but now recently, I feel like Rumble and Kick are kind of in the same place in terms of relevancy as like the good replacements. Like there's been other replacement streaming sites like DLive and other stuff like that. But I feel like with Kick and uh, Rumble, it's like the first time that there's genuine competition for Twitch and YouTube. I'm interested to see how it turns out. Obviously, I think YouTube will always stay on top and win, but I don't know, maybe they can kill Twitch. Yeah, Twitch needs to die. I see like Pokemon getting a lot of shit for like the kick versus Twitch take, and I don't get it. I really don't understand it because basically her take is like, Stake promotes gambling, which they do. It's owned by Stake, and she's getting shit for that take where it's like, you know, I she says ethically, I personally wouldn't want to be on that website. Why would I ha, 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 compromise my morals and ethics? for more money when I have money. Something about that is so cringe. For me to do cringe shit when I have my, I can't. Like, ew. <laughs> In my opinion, I think that's a very commendable thing. Yeah, but then a couple weeks later, she's on stream with the Kick CEO and they're like, hey, would you be interested in something? She's like, maybe, I don't know. Wouldn't it be so crazy if I switch sides? I'll be honest, we really wanted to work with Pokimane, actually. That was a name that we kind of discussed early on, but she, I don't think she wants to work with us, actually. So we'll see. We'll see if that changes. <laughs> Me signing with Kick would be like the, the biggest plot twist in all streamer signings. And the idea of that is kind of interesting. <laughs> the top left guy, oh, he's the CEO. Yeah, I wasn't sure if they were the founders or just people that work there. I mean, okay, then I, I'm super glad, you know, he doesn't seem to have any beef and I ain't got no beef with him either, so bless up. Okay, that's more. And also, she congratulated XQC on his deal and then she went on that spiel about it being like bad, but she didn't directly call XQC out. She was just being passive aggressive about it. So she could like still praise him while also trying to act <laughs> like she's better. Dude, fuck. And then also, after Valkyrie, one of her friends, congratulated XQC publicly, she DM'd her and said like, wow, I'm surprised you're supporting this publicly. Like scolding her for congratulating someone. Okay, yeah, never mind. I'm never talking yeah. positive. <laughs> Don't talk to me about Pokemon, dude. I'll correct you real quick. I mean, I, but I do, I, I will say in general, because I know every single big streamer has the opportunity to make more money through like unethical sources, yeah. such as promoting gambling or, you know, in Pokemon's case, that woman's losing like a million dollars a month, probably a lot more by not having an OnlyFans. So I think yeah. there's a certain level of morality, which I think should be, um, respected. And I do recognize that. And I do think genuinely that Pokimane is really content where she is financially and is not money hungry, but she is already in a, a great position. I think she's more social influence and like power hungry. She wants to like be in control of public narratives. That's why she like censors criticism, plays victim and all that. She wants like complete control over like what is said and what goes down. She's more interested in that rather than making more money. I saw that clip of her like recently. I, I forget exactly what it was, but she was basically saying like, if anyone wants to legislate the internet with me, I'm your girl, hit me up. Exactly. That was the example I was going to bring up if you didn't. I don't understand how you can be a grown adult and be that dumb. To think that that would be a good idea in any possible way is one of the most moronic trains of thought which I've yeah. ever heard a public well, figure. I feel like she sees the internet and the world in a certain way, and she wants to force that into reality by trying to like micromanage what people say and what people do. <laughs> uh, you know, it's why she copyright striked my video. She stopped copyright striking after that, but she continued stuff that's like aligns with the reason she copyright striked me, but not actually copyright striking like 
uh, shaming It's a Gundam for having a sponsor after he made fun of one of her fans. He's like, this harassment and bullying, these shenanigans should not be sponsored. There should not be profit and bullying. And, and obviously with like the legislation suggestion, like she wants censorship. She wants to control what the internet is meant to be like and what people are allowed to say to her own preference. That's what I think she's more interested in rather than money, which I think is not maybe as bad as being money hungry because you're not going to scam your fans with like NFT and like financially ruin them or whatever. It's still not like good. Like I wouldn't want to be her friend or anything like that. Yeah, I agree. I guess I, I have more of a bias though to judge people more so based on their actions. For example, I know Kick offered Rice Gum a, a pretty penny for sure. Maybe not more than Rumble, but they offered him a lot of money. I hope that at least part of his decision was that he didn't want to promote gambling to a bunch of, you know, 18, 19, 20 year old younger people. I hope part of that decision was that. I'm pretty anti kick. I'm more anti kick than anti Twitch, to be honest. Well, kick is just uh, Twitch copy pasted, but with like different rules, gambling, and it's green. Just the fact that they straight up copied Twitch, I find that to be repulsive. I guess, but it's also Twitch's fault because the fact that a site that's an exact copy of Twitch, but with different rules, can do so well proves how fucking fucked the Twitch rules are to begin with. Yeah, they, they brought it upon themselves. Yeah, 100%. Like, if Twitch didn't have all these problems, no one would be going to kick. But it's, like, basically the exact same site. Like, bro. Yeah, literally the same. I think it's the same interface. I think they use, like, Amazon video services or whatever. No, they, they had a leak in 2021 with the code of the website. Oh, so they just copied that? I thought they were, like, paying out Amazon to, like, use it. I'm pretty sure Amazon Web Services, that's like- Oh, is that like something different that they're paying out for? Like just for like hosting or something like that? Not for the actual website interface? Exactly. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure this is how Amazon makes like a lot of their money. Pokimane was saying some dumb shit like, oh, Twitch benefits from Kick because Amazon owns Twitch and Amazon's benefiting from Kick. But honestly, I think Amazon should close Twitch and buy Kit. No. Does Twitch even make a profit for Amazon? Definitely. They might lie and say it doesn't, but definitely. I mean, you've been on the site. They put an ad like every two minutes. Yeah, and they also take like 50-50 from everybody yeah. now. Dude, no way. Like, they, they really shouldn't be making money off Twitch, but there's suckers like Pokimane who stay on the platform. And because of that, they're just making money off like suckers who just don't care about the 50-50 split. I guess. Well, I guess Pokemon wouldn't be a sucker because she's already a millionaire, but... It might not be like they don't care, but it's like that's where their community already is. And they might yeah. lose a large percentage of those people. Yeah, true. By take so they're kind of like stuck. Like for me, that would be a decision that I very heavily weighed before I made the decision to like move to Rumble. Yeah. But with these people, like they're not just like making the decision to switch. Like with the big Twitch streamers, they're probably making a decision between like a multi-million dollar contract in their hands. Like as you said, Pokemon. Well, no, you said that about OnlyFans. Like Pokemon sacrificing money by not doing an OnlyFans. But I also think she's losing money by not taking one of these multi-million dollar deals that are probably being offered to her again i do think that's something to be respected i, I suppose if i'm going to criticize people for making what i consider to be immoral decisions i think it, it makes sense to give people credit where credit is due yeah true but uh, yeah it's just different for me because i don't think going to kick is immoral but how could it not be if the point of the website is to essentially get people the customers addicted to gambling then it's inherently immoral. That's one aspect of the website. It's not the whole website. And is XQC being paid to gamble on the website or is he just being paid to stream on the website? Um, No, no, it's both. What Ricegum said, he's also a liar. But what he said is they wanted him to gamble on stream. XQC and Aiden, they definitely gamble on stream. Anyone who like defends gambling, I don't think they've seen the consequences of gambling with their own eyes. Like, I think it's become normalized over the last few years. Luckily, I never had any issues with it or in my family, but like, I've seen what it does to other people's families. And bro, it's fucking disgusting. It's one of the worst things in the entire world. I don't want to get into like, too much detail, but there was a kid I knew growing up. His dad was addicted to gambling. It almost ruined their family. The main problem is that the gambling people are really good at getting you addicted. You know, like they're professionals. If you could just walk in and gamble once, that's nothing. 
that really doesn't mean anything. You know, you'll be fine, regardless of how much you spent. But where they make the money is getting you addicted every day. I guess the core of that argument is like, obviously gambling addiction is bad, but how realistic is the tick stream to gambling pipeline? What are the obstacles behind it and stuff like that? You say get kids addicted to gambling, but can kids access this website, get money? Like, of course some could, but like, is it really easy for them to do? A lot of them promote these gambling sites, just as an example, like Rollbit, where they have no KYC in place. Do you know what KYC is? No. It's called like Know Your Customer because it's like a crypto casino that gets set up in some random country with like a 500 population. They set them up in this country called Curacao or something. They basically never have to be regulated in any way. So they could yeah. just get a bunch of 12 year olds who stole their mom's credit card on the site and they don't have to ask for a picture of an ID. That's where it gets really tricky versus like- oh, I didn't know that. But, but if you do like DraftKings, if I want to gamble on DraftKings because it's regulated in the US, they make me upload a photo of my ID. Well, what about steak? Cause steak is the kick one, right? Steak, they don't make you upload a picture of your ID, I'm pretty sure, for a payout but not to gamble. But they changed this recently. Back in like 2021 and shit, they were not doing that. Well, I guess they're like improving. Uh, I still think regardless, even with like the identification in mind, like gambling streams, probably not the best thing to do ethically. I wouldn't say it's like the worst thing because you don't guarantee that they get addicted to gambling, but you're like adding an extra step towards that direction, which is not cool. And also watching gambling is not even entertaining besides like, you know, getting addicted to it and the dopamine you get from like gambling addiction vicariously through these other people. Realistically, it's not real entertainment. It's just like fucking watching slots move, you know? <laughs> the entertainment comes from the money. If there's no money involved, no one would care. So it's not really entertaining. So it's not good content either. But when it comes to kick and like the, um, morals of moving over there. The gambling stuff, it's a complicated conversation and I don't really know the answer. And maybe your stance is like right where it's like completely immoral if they engage in gambling or whatever. But what if you like move to kick and you don't gamble? Like, do you still think that's immoral because the site has other gambling streamers? Well, on the it? problem is the site without the gambling aspect to it, the site wouldn't be able to exist because, you know, yeah. the, they have that 95-5 split. Even a consumer would say like, all right, maybe 85-15 is more fair. You know, <laughs> like, even if you're not a streamer, you'd be like, that seems excessive, you know, because Twitch yeah, is- So you're saying if you, it's just by simply being on kick, you're benefiting from the monetary benefits you get from the immoral- Being associated of, with gambling. Of gambling. Yeah. Okay. That's not an argument I expected you to- bring up but I, that's actually a good one so i guess they're like kind of benefiting from gambling even if they're not participating because in it the intention of the website if you i'm on here right now the ceo of this website literally wants me to ruin my life and get addicted to gambling yeah. Like that's what he wants at the core of it. And that's yeah. so bad. But the thing with uh, streamers going to kick to not gamble and just be on kick, like obviously they are benefiting vicariously like through gambling because of the split or whatever. But that's also the case with every other website. Like Twitch users are benefiting from any bad things Jeff Bezos does, like force Amazon workers to pee in fucking cups or whatever the fuck. And YouTube's connected to Google and everything's connected to everything. So no matter what platform you're on, you are going to be benefiting from some immoral shit. I agree with that. But at the core of it though, Amazon is like top three employers in the US, I think. And then also Amazon, from me and your perspective, you know, they make our lives better as a consumer versus gambling. It's like <laughs> it has no actual value. The value is that we get to watch like a streamer we like do some other shit on kick that isn't gambling. Yeah, but at the core of the two, there's a big difference where like you have this business that like helps millions of people every day, although they hurt people too. From the consumer's perspective, it does help people versus kick where their goal is not to help people. It's actually the opposite. Well, the goal is to make money. Even with Amazon, they're not doing it through gambling, but the goal is just to, you know, make more money. Yeah, and... but Jeff Bezos's goal is accomplished by helping you and me, by giving us quick shipping and good products at a good price, and then getting us to come back. And that's how he makes his money. Yeah, you know, I don't think Jeff Bezos is out here destroying individual families one by one. You know, like that's I don't think like using a platform that has a sketchy background is necessarily like immoral though. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I don't think if I go watch one Aiden Ross stream, I'm a bad person, right? I think Aiden Ross is the bad person because he makes money off of 
getting kids addicted to gambling. I guess. So the argument is that, like, let's say theoretically I got a deal to go to kick, but it was completely ungambling related. You'd say it's immoral because I'm bringing my viewers to kick and then they could be watching gambling streams and then getting addicted to gambling. But there's other bad stuff on Twitch that could happen if I brought my viewers to Twitch, right? Like they could go to the hot tub section and then get addicted to porn through Amaranth as a gateway. Like, and porn addiction is pretty that, bad But that would be a bigger problem if Twitch were owned by Pornhub. But it's still the same result. Like people are getting addicted to porn. But again, their goal isn't to get you addicted to porn. Their goal is like, I'm gonna show you this girl with tits for you to click on it and then maybe she can entertain you for two or three hours versus stake is like our goal is to get you onto this website and it's a funnel onto our gambling site oh yeah that makes more sense because like yeah the kid could get addicted to like porn or whatever but it would be benefiting amaranth it's not like amazon is specifically pushing it they're not dissuading it either which is probably immoral because they're like oh well this doesn't affect our business badly so fuck it they can get addicted to porn but they're not being like we gotta get the most people addicted to porn as possible yeah it's just like exactly. a side thing okay and and you got to keep in mind i would assume kick is going to ramp up the the promotion of the gambling in the near future because right now if you look at it it doesn't seem like a gambling own site i would assume they're not making money off kick right now or maybe they are because their profit margins are probably significantly higher because of the stake pipeline and i think that's kind of like the core issue Dude, I died in the game just like how I died in this debate. It's not often where I like argue with someone. Well, not argue, it's more of a discussion. And then like change my opinion. Like you've kind of changed my opinion a little bit. I would be interested to hear you discuss this with like more people who maybe had kind of my view at the beginning of this recording. We I mean, gotta get Willie in here. I've talked to Willie a lot and I think we kind of agree on like most subjects. I know we had one debate, but I'm kind of forgetting what it is, and he killed me. It might have been the N-word? No, that was uh, Turkey Tom. You were literally like molding and coping, because I joined <laughs> the stream after the debate. And you were like, oh, I can't believe I lost the N-word debate, and then you explained it to me, and I didn't know whose side was whose, and I took Tom's side, and you're like, dude, I lost again! I'm like, <laughs> I'm like I didn't mean to pile on again. He's like, now it's a 3v1!